If you have ever felt ignored or doubted when sharing your ideas in a technical meeting, you are not alone. As a software engineer, being able to articulate your thoughts clearly can be the difference between earning respect or being sidelined. And if you don't step up, someone else will and they might not even have better ideas than you do. By learning how to speak confidently in technical meetings, you'll consistently earn trust, influence decisions and establish yourself as a leader in your team. The ability to confidently contribute isn't optional. It's the skill that will set you apart in a room full of talented developers. Today you will get six hacks for improving your meeting game that you can start using right away. So let's dive in. Have you ever walked into a technical meeting and realized halfway through that you have a great idea but not a clear way to present it? And it's not that you don't know your stuff, but being unprepared makes it harder to communicate effectively, whereas preparing ahead of time gives you the confidence to own the room and deliver your points clearly. Now, preparation might sound obvious, but most engineers skip it because they assume they'll figure it out in the moment. But here's why that's risky. Because when questions arise, unprepared speakers tend to freeze or rumble, which damages their credibility. Let's take two developers for example. The first one spends 15 minutes outlining their key points and anticipating questions. The second one wings it, assuming their technical skills will speak for themselves. Nine times out of ten, the prepared developer makes a stronger impression because they have already thought through potential challenges. And to be honest, even if you think you know your material, being unprepared leaves too much to chance. So when you prepare ahead of time, you'll present with clarity and handle tough questions without breaking a sweat. Because preparation transforms nerves into confidence. If you have ever felt intimidated about speaking up in meetings, you are definitely not alone. It's hard to jump into the deep end and suddenly lead a conversation, especially when you are surrounded by experienced colleagues. That's why starting small is a simple but effective way to build confidence over time. A lot of people think they have to make a huge impact every time they speak, but that's not true. Instead, try contributing just one comment or question in each meeting. And over time, these smaller contributions will add up and make you feel more comfortable speaking. Starting small takes the pressure off and helps you gradually build confidence without feeling overwhelmed. It's the first step towards becoming a valued voice in the room. Have you ever noticed how same technical explanation lands differently with different people? That's because your audience matters just as much as what you are saying. Tailoring your message to their needs is crucial in order for your points to hit home. It's easy to assume that everyone in the room is on the same page, but that's rarely the case. For example, a project manager might care about timelines, while a senior developer is focused on the code quality. If you present detailed technical specs to the wrong person, you might lose their attention entirely. So instead, ask yourself who needs what information. If you are speaking to a mixed audience, focus on high-level overviews and offer to dive deeper if needed. Some engineers worry about tailoring their message will oversimplify their expertise, but that's actually a misconception. On the contrary, clear communication does not dilute your skills, it showcases them. So when you understand your audience, your message becomes relevant, impactful and impossible to ignore you'll leave meetings with people fully aligned with your ideas. Speaking in a meeting can feel stressful, especially when all eyes are on you. Nerves can lead to rushing, stumbling or losing your train of thought. Pausing and breathing is a simple technique that can instantly help you regain control. When you are nervous, your instinct is to fill every moment with words. But speaking quickly makes it harder for others to follow and harder for you to think clearly. Instead, take a breath before answering a question or moving to the next point. For example, if someone asks a tough question, just pause, take a beat and then respond. Some people fear pauses will make them seem unprepared, but actually the opposite is true. 
pausing shows confidence. And pausing and breathing gives you time to collect your thoughts and deliver your message clearly even under pressure. It turns nervous energy into composed delivery. Have you ever felt confused during a discussion but hesitated to speak up? It's easy to worry that asking questions will make you look unprepared. But in reality, asking clarifying questions shows you are engaged and serious about getting things right. When someone explains something in a meeting, assumptions often go unspoken. If you don't ask questions, those assumptions can lead to misunderstandings later on. For instance, if a team member says, let's prioritize the API integration, you might ask, are we focusing on the external APIs or internal ones? This kind of question clarifies the conversation for everyone. Some engineers worry about seeming uninformed, but here's the truth. The smartest people ask the best questions. Not asking can actually cause bigger issues when misunderstandings surface later on. Clarifying questions demonstrate confidence, deepen your understanding and improve the team alignment. Effective communication isn't just about speaking, it's also about listening. And in meetings it's easy to zone out or focus on what you are going to say next. Instead, practicing active listening ensures you fully engage with what others are saying. Active listening means paying attention, paraphrasing key points and asking follow-up questions. For example, if a teammate says that this feature might delay the timeline, to this you could respond, so you're saying that the feature might impact our schedule, can you explain why? This kind of response confirms understanding and invites more context. Without active listening, you risk missing key details or coming across as disengaged. Some people think active listening is passive, but it's one of the most powerful tools for building credibility and rapport in meetings. When you practice active listening, people feel heard and you gain the context needed to contribute effectively. Speaking confidently in technical meetings isn't about being perfect. It's about being prepared, engaged and intentional. Apply these hacks and you'll turn every meeting into an opportunity to make your voice heard. And if you found this video helpful, you might also like my weekly newsletter Holistic Developer Playbook, where I help software engineers to improve their non-technical skills that are actually integral part of building a fulfilling career. Link is down in the description if you wanna check it out.